proofs from uh, books of traditions. Uh, one which is very famous is that al Nahya, uh, al Muqaddasa. So we'll talk about that in the final session. Definitely, inshallah. Um, but there are other traditions from the Imam Ali Salam. Um, and someone like Marhum Sayyid Mahdi uh, Baharul Uloom, who used to see the 12th Imam Islam and the big Marajian ulama like the likes of Sheikh Jafar, Kashif al Ghata, and Sayyid Jawad Amili from Jabal Amili, and other big scholars who have written big books, he used to believe amongst his students that he sees the 12th Imam al Islam. And he himself, even today, you have a group called Tawarij in uh, Karbala, they come to Karbala. Yeah, yeah. So, Sayyid Mahdi Bahar why is so much significance given to them? Because Sayyid Mahdi Bahar al said in one of his uh, uh, talks that I saw Sahib Zaman running at the time of Asr. You know, because they come at the time of Asr on Ashura, uh, because they say this is a time when Sayyid Shahada gave his life and he called before he died, before he was killed. Halmin Nasari and Surana. So they say Labbaik, you know, so they are saying, you know, that Halmin Nasari and Surana, we are saying Labbaik to it. And he says that he saw the 12th Imam al Islam running in it. So 12th Imam al Islam has a special attachment and some words he says uh, that the, and the, the, the time has made a distance between me and you. Had I been in your time, I would give my life for you. Imam Hussain Islam um, and uh, I will shed tears day and night and if my tears finish so I will uh, shed blood tears if my the water of my tears dry, uh, dried up then I would shed blood from my eyes for you um, and whenever my your sisters cried upon you they uh, lashed them and they stopped them from crying but I will cry day and night upon you. So those words from Sahib Zaman show how much uh, grief he has for Imam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 